What's up everyone? This is Scramble from Emotions Crypto Trading and today we're going to talk about ICOs as we're coming out with an update on the spreadsheet. Before we get started, a couple of words around the coin market cap would be necessarily. 260 billion the market cap volume around 11 billions and the BTC dominance is sitting around 45%. Right, so the market is definitely suffering. We're clearly in a uh, progressive downtrending environment that's being pushed down by the wells. Now, you see the media throwing out the negative news. You see all the uh, cryptocurrency, social media advertising, uh, apocalypse that's going on, and all the other facts which are happening heavily advertised by the media for a reason. We're looking to get cheap entries for the bull run that's going to come. That's the only reason they are looking to advertise and promote the negative news more than anything that's positive. Because we could have very easily mentioned that we do have more bullish news than bearish news considering the actual market and the actual outcome of the media that's pushing the bearish news. It's clearly for a purpose. It's all on purpose and we have to manage and handle the situation properly. One of the few ways to do this is not to get controlled by your emotions, right? So that's one of the ways you guys already know it. We spoke about it. Everyone's telling you this and it's something you already know. Now, the only thing that's going to make the difference between the things you know and the things that are happening is the taking action side. In this case, you don't have to take any action. If you're not a trader, you don't sell your waiting for the market to come back. If you are a trader, you definitely want to speculate and uh, take advantage by increasing the quantity of the tokens you're having, right? So uh, that's pretty much like a quick introduction around the market. Let's get over the Scrambo's emotionless ICO analysis spreadsheet. Uh, I'm going to run a quick, quick introduction on what is all about and how we do it for the people, for the newcomers, right? So. We've got an ICO spreadsheet where we rate the ICOs based on a research process and review process that we do, right? So we rate them between zero to five score, and then it comes out uh, as a sum for a specific category based on the total achieved, right? So uh, for example, you see here the rating system specifically with the color and it's all placed down for every single ICO, depending on the total score that you were able to accumulate. We've got eight aspects that we're considering as a main categories. And then each of these aspects basically have a lot of these elements that are on the research once we do that. Now you can definitely look after that in how it works tab. Basically, you will have that how it works tab on the top and that's where you will be able to, to work around and see how we work on managing to create a ICO rating like we do on this one. You can use all this 59 elements for research and review process for yourself, which is something that I definitely encourage to do it. Right. So we've got other things like participating in any ICO for people which are restricted because they are coming from restricted countries and they're not allowed to participate in ICOs. You can do that through our service. Request to review disclaimer is something you definitely want to watch and other things, right? So let's just get started. You know, I like to make these videos quick, straight to the point and give you time, basically give you more time for your own and personal research after watching this and looking around the things that you believe are worth it instead of sitting 40 minutes, 15 minutes with me on a video where I would just uh, keep talking without saying anything, right? So it's better quickly, straight to the point. We're just going to walk through every single ICO stating when does it start quickly, what it's all about and uh, high score, low score and all these details that we used to mention. Now, on the other side, I like to consider uh, telling you that unfortunately do a very limited time on this video. So we're not able to walk in every single ICO and talk about the review process we have done because this takes between two to four days, usually even up to six days for every single ICO. You definitely need to go down the way and ask some questions to the members of their team, right? Because there's always a list of questions after our research process, which is something we believe you should also have 
nobody answers all your questions from the entire database of content you can find online about an ICO. If you're serious about it, you need to have questions and you need to walk through their telegram and ask personally someone from their team around specific details which are not mentioned so many times. Right, so updates are represented from here, from where these two stars are located. From there upwards, we just have updates. On the other side, there's no affiliate link included on the hyperlink of this ICOs that you can see over here. The first one is the DIW token, basically a decentralized security with a highest score around the marketing 4.7 and the lowest one for the white paper roadmap and token economics 4.2 basically this is their website right here and the ICO starts in about 31 days from now the first thing that you have to do is to join their whitelist in order to participate uh, decentralized security that's what they are taking care about there's a lot to learn and see about it I had a kind of difficult time to to get in touch with their support for a faster communication but you can uh, manage it to be able to succeed answering and getting responses to all your questions. It's not that easy with all these ISOs, especially the ones which are having a lot of um, popularity around them. It's kind of difficult to get in touch with someone and get instant replies, right? So their total score of 35.3 is placing them in the good category. Going towards Plantex um, decentralized blockchain platform, with the highest score for the background 4.6 and the lowest one for the white paper 4.1 still placing them in the good category with 35 score now plantex basically is located right here and the pre-sale starts in about 23 days plantex is a blockchain based platform and application aiming to connect and reward all participants going towards Valix ID, identity verification, a lot of the ICOs around this topic, a lot of them. 4.6, the highest one for the background, including the market 4.6 as well, and the lowest score 4.2 for the marketing. Valix ID is placed in the good category with 34.9, and it's located right here, 14 days and 22 hours till their ICO starts. Now, you definitely need to register for all these token sales. Uh, it's kind of impossible nowadays to participate without registering or participating in the whitelist. Getting this kind of approvals is something necessary nowadays. It's also, from business perspective, very good because they're building up a uh, database of customers for potential upcoming marketing that they're doing, right? So they can follow up with you. It's also good for you to participate into this registrations because you are going to be aware of what's happening next and all those things. Instead of just uh, participating directly, we used to know that a couple of years ago, for the ICOs, you were not needing to create accounts. You were just sending an amount of Ethereum or BTC or Litecoin to a specific address and uh, you were just getting back your tokens without making an account, without doing anything. But today, KIC process and all the verifications are a must do for every single ICO out there. Otherwise, no banking system is working with them and the governments are going to put their hands in your business if you're not realistically working securely and correctly. Right, so 14 days, a global platform for frictionless identity verification. Like I've mentioned, there is high competition around this area and the project needs to come out with realistic work instead of just words. Not really talking specifically about this one, talking about the entire industry, right? So Velix ID, 34.9, placing it in the good category. Today, you can see a lot of them are placed in the good category, which is great because that represents consistency. We don't like high fluctuations here to have a bunch of in the good or very good and a bunch of in the poor, which is not good because the space, the gap is too much. A lot of these projects used to be scams as they're not really representing what they are promising to people. 
and we need to eliminate them from the uh, process of reviewing them because it's not worth our time. I can tell you from our statistics that only 3 out of 10 reach to be included in the review process and that if the review process proves it, then it's not worth to be on the Scrambles Emotionless ISO analysis and it's not worth your time guys to look at it, then we need to exclude it, right? And finally, we're kind of reaching to a perspective of 2 out of 10 to be represented on this spreadsheet, right? So we're trying to be as strict as possible on our time uh, and all those things for you and for our audience, which is very important, right? So something that probably I didn't mention is in order to get access to the spreadsheet, the first link in the description area gives you free access. There's nothing that we charge and charge about this one, right? So RX Ale is the next one right here. RX Ale, rental markets, 4.7 for the team and token, uh, oops, sorry, that's 3.7 actually. Uh, yep, 4.7 for the team, the highest rating and 3.7 for the token economics. Still in the good category with the rating score of 35. RX Eel. Uh, their ISO is already live, 9 days, still 100% bonus for the pre-sale, which is something I do not agree uh, most of the time giving out dead high bonuses. Now, securing leasing and rental deposit, a smart contract-based platform for increasing transparency for le lessers and leases everywhere. Definitely, there's something uh, um, and a couple of facts I do not agree when it comes down to huge, huge bonuses out there. What if a whale comes in? And usually they do. So they come in, they see you're giving out 100% bonus, 150%, 70%, 50% bonus on 2000 Ethereum deposit as a maximum per user in a pre sale stage, right? So this whales are getting 100% bonus on 2000 Ethereum. It's worth for them to start dumping in the first day when the ICO goes out. That's why you see a lot of this dumping going on because the bonuses were too high. And I can tell you that many ICOs nowadays have some sort of pre private pre-sales which you don't know about. They're not public at all. At all. And they're giving out 100%, 150%, 200% bonuses to the whales. Those whales are getting a lot of the tokens which they dump in the first day or second or third day, usually at the beginning, when the ICO goes out on the exchange, right? So that's why you see the large selling pressure because people behind the ICO, and this is just a case scenario. Of course, not in this, all the cases are the same. It's not like that, of course, but this is the majority of the cases the way it's happening. You don't know about those details. You don't know about those token metrics, economics. You don't know it happened. There's no way to find out unless you know some whale which participated or some people from that team. Otherwise, they're not mentioning that because they would lose their customers. Nobody would invest knowing that, right? So it's just a case example that's happening. It's happening at a very, very large scale. And I tell you why. A lot of the people behind this ISILs are not having the funds to get started and to reach where they want to reach based on their goals. They need loads amount of money for marketing in order to reach to have tens of thousands of people around their ICOs and they need to create that type of momentum which is necessarily for an ICO to be successful. That type of enthusiasm, it's necessary. It needs to have enthusiasm in order to be successful. Now they know they need to do that but they don't have the funds to do all the marketing and all the platform and all the development and all these things, right? So they're trying to sell a lot of the tokens without letting you know about it. And it's very easy to hide it. Uh, if you know how to set up your smart contract, you can hide that. Uh, and then those funds are used for the marketing and to get started to make it pretty much public and to achieve their goals. But that's very bad for the investors which are looking to make profits out of investing in the ICO uh, because the price is going to be dumped very aggressively. Nowadays, I've even been able to see some of the ICOs went down 20x 
in five days after the release compared to the ICO price. So 20x, 20x, how long is it gonna take to recover? There is no volume, there's nobody buying because they see the history. 20x decrease, there's something dirty behind that token. And there's no confidence for new buyers. That's clear something, a huge, huge red flag that you can't really pass when you see a such a big difference right so there's a lot of the things going on and I'm gonna keep telling you more and more during the next videos I have a lot to share with you because I'm involved heavily in this and I can see how all these things are happening and it's clearly something that I would like to share with you kind of step by step to have all my videos kind of you know as attractive as possible trying to keep you with me right so Vernon Vernon the next world taking care about the insurance uh, 4.6 marketing and that's pretty much as the highest one 4.1 token economics still 35.1 very uh, good ICO right that's their category uh, Vernon basically it's located right here and their pre-sale is already active and it's going on right so for more details of their pre-sale you have to look after their telegram group that's where you can find in all the cases details about the ICO participating Basically, it's the first world's uh, first 0% commission insurance on blockchain. That's what they are promising, the future of insurance. Now, the next one is the Loyak business platform, right? 4.5, uh, 4.6 actually problem solution and 4.2, the smallest token economics, right? 35.6, good category. Loyak is located right here their ICO starts in April 15 and basically they are powering secure powering secure enterprise business networks on blockchain Loyak enables companies to collaborate and share data with partners distributors channels and suppliers across the world you need to participate and join their whitelist and you know it's kind of what's that's actually a process I didn't mean you need to participate in order to participate, you need to join their whitelist. That's what I wanted to say. Squeezer, you know that we don't give any sort of investment or sort of a financial advice. If for some reasons you believe I'm telling you that you should join this or the other, it's not like that. I'm sorry, but I don't want to make any sort of differences through this reviews or anything like that. I just want to make sure that you guys are going to do your own research and you're not gonna understand from me that hey this is where scramble told me to participate and he told me not to on the other side no it's not like that i don't want to mean any of those basically right so just trying to be as neutral as possible uh if i might say it's a good place to participate just you know take it as a mistake uh i don't want to say that good squeezer Blockchain apps basically for the time 4.7 highest category highest rating for the team, right? Uh, lowest one 4.3 token economics and then we have a 36.3 Very good category. The first one for today's squeezer is located right here. Their pre-sale starts in about 19 hours and it's the revolution of the apps on the blockchain basically the world's first software development platform offering microservices for the blockchain extremely interesting traction infrastructure uh 4.7 for the team for the problem and solution and for the market basically 4.7 right there shorter smaller score token economics 4.4 36.8 they have the highest rating out of today's update 36.8 in the very good category uh, what we have to consider basically is their website is located right here transition you to a crypto ready society using using the latest hyperledger fabric technology we provide seamless integration and connectivity among networks businesses and people their private sale is already going on right so you need to look at their telegram in order to find out more details 
there is an option of joining the whitelist and of course the signing up process which needs to be done in order to participate if you would like so. Going towards basically we've got true play for the gambling having the lowest score for today placing them in the poor category. Now the highest one is background and team 4.3 but the lowest one is the marketing number 3 right there. Uh, true play is located right here in the pre shield starting about 13 dice. We create a transparent and honest platform for gambling. Now, there is an issue when we talk about exchanges. This is something that I would like to say probably uh, it's going to help you when you will deal with projects which are related to gambling. They have an issue with joining on big exchanges because they're not accepting projects related to gambling, right? So something that could be interesting to you and useful to you. You definitely need to know that when you decide joining in the gambling industry, right? There might be some problems around the volume of the token and some other things which are coming along with that issue. Now, the next one and the latest one basically is, is the dice money social economy 4.7 for the marketing and 4.3 token economics and the market basically placing them in the good category with 35.8 total rating score uh, purpose driven crowd mining and investment basically dice money redone the social network of finance is here pre ICO is April 12th main ICO is starting on May 11th right so those are the dates there is a private sale going on right now. Now, if there is some sort of a way for you guys to explain me how these guys are doing their marketing and the meaningful of the process that's happening, basically calling all the stages as private sales, but they're not private at all in some cases. It's kind of public everywhere mentioned that, hey, we have a private sale. Do you want to participate? And it's kind of for the large public. The rules or anything that would block you are not set up to realistically make it like a private sale, right? So nowadays to have private sales, to have pre-private sales, pre-sales of public sales, main sales are used as marketing techniques. A lot of the projects are having no idea on how to handle a situation that would deserve a pre-private sale, a private sale, a pre-ICO, a public-private sale with all the things. The confusion and the charlatans, the scammers behind the industry are insane. There's a lot of the money to be made out of the blockchain and they know that, right? So it's also kind of part of this movement that's going right now of the bear market which has, and I'm just going to name it right now, one of the good things of this bear market, uh, of course, besides that you can buy a lot of the cryptos at very discounted prices, it kind of shakes out the scammers and charlatans, which are trying to squeeze a lot of the money out of you. While the market was bullish, everyone was with high enthusiasm. And at that time, people... They are like, we've got a lot of the money, we've made a bunch of money. They tend to run their research process slightly overlooking the most important details, right? So they're not really paying attention that much on how they are diversifying their money because they made a lot. People are more relaxed at that time. And we're talking about the average people. Of course, that's a big mistake because the charlatans and scammers have taken advantage of that. And it's definitely very bad to handle the market that way. So today they kind of left the market because there's nobody throwing out money on the ISOs that easily like people were throwing out when Ethereum was 1,300 bucks. You can see nowadays ISOs have harder time to collect half a million, a million, two million, five million than they were having three months ago, right? So we've got periods, cycles, which are kind of reflecting what's happening in the market. And it's the way it needs to be. It's realistic, it's true, and it's normal. There's nothing to worry about around the current market. 
if you believe in the technology and the change that this technology could bring, then I'm sure you're not worried about the prices and about the things which are happening on the short term. This is kind of a state that's not permanent, exactly like the state when we were growing, which was not permanent as well. It was feeling like that, and I know now it feels like that. This is not the first time I'm going through. I've been here when we had the Chinese bubble, and I've been trading, and Bitcoin was dropping down to 200 bucks after it was going parabolically above 1,000. So it's definitely possible for the prices to decrease heavily. But of course, today we can't really compare the market to what was at that time because it's way different, way, way, way different. There's nothing to run as comparison other than a decrease needs to happen and it's happening and we're in that process. It's just healthy as possible. Do not worry about anything around negative in your portfolio as long as you are here for the long term. If you're here for the short term, you're going to suffer, right? So one thing that you need to do, keep educating yourself about the ICOs, trading cryptocurrencies, and avoid scammers, people selling courses. They're big traders, millionaires, wasting their time selling you $10 courses. Don't believe in this type of stories. They're not happening. They're like those, you know, all those programs um, where this push button trading system, trading softwares, they're all push button trading softwares sold by those type of, you know, of course, not millionaires, just claiming they're millionaires, driving luxury cars in a video presentation, telling you to buy a push button software that's going to make you millions of dollars out of trading. Now, of course, that's the face of a lot of the scammers, which are taking advantage also of the blockchain space trying to sell you what's something they are not able to do it's just a story right so be aware educate yourself pay high attention on where you're looking at the details and information where you're collecting all this because it affects your subconscious and you might not be able to kind of recognize when it affects you and to eliminate it from your day-by-day -day activity it's kind of bringing a lot of the difficulties. So keep educating, keep being positive, spread the world about the structure and the technology that happens around the blockchain and tell people about it, right? Start educating people around it. The first thing you need to do is do it for free. If there's money behind it, let it be, but let it come just without focusing on the money that you're making. Focus on the education. Money is going to follow you. We never ever focus on the money. And I'm not even focusing on the money while I'm trading. I'm focusing on a good entry or good exit, technically speaking. If it's good, the money is going to follow, right? So the money is going to follow my good entries and my good exits. I don't need to follow the amount of money. If I follow the amount of money, I'm not going to follow the technical side. And I can't follow an amount of money which is not something that's coming from the market, right? The data that I'm getting, as a technical speaking, it's coming from the market. So that's what I need to follow. And the same thing, you guys, as education, skills, and development, progressing. Always and always progress. Never ever have a day when you're not learning something new, right? So keep in touch. Feel free to subscribe. Talk to you soon. A longer video presentation than usually because I had a lot of the days before, well, I didn't make any video. I was training a lot and I was having a lot of conversation with my students, which is very important for me to be able to put people on the right track, right? So thank you so much for talking, uh, actually for watching. I was the one talking. Uh, thank you for offering me the chance to talk here and for watching me. Feel free to subscribe, share your ideas in the comments area. Share your ideas everywhere you would like. Appreciate you have the freedom to tell your feedback. Thank you so much and talk to you soon.